Heyo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here. We're back with another episode of Coaster Spotlight. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at Pegasus and Bellerophon dual single track coaster created by Fricker. This one's a very unique coaster, and you guys are in for a surprise today. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, as I mentioned, and you guys will see in this setup, I ended up having to start the setup again and rethink things twice. I wasn't quite sure what was going on, but it is a very unique coaster, and I ended up figuring out what happened near the end there. So the setup for this one, I didn't do it the best way, and now that I kind of understand it, we'll, we'll have a talk about it in a second, but you guys are seeing the setup of this right now. So anyways, let's jump into it. This was sent in by one of our Discord members and expert builders, Fricker, and he says, this type of coaster has yet to be seen on the workshop. This is a dual synchronized single rail coaster thanks to no collision. Both keeping time with one another so that the ride one on top of another throughout the ride. At times you can imagine Bellerfon almost slipping off the track off the back of Pegasus and holding on for dear life but never falling off as they race around through Mount Olympus and Corinth. Enjoy this scenic courtyard garden and tells a story of Pegasus as you wait in queue for the other coaster for the ground level queue use a line to grid i hope you all enjoy i look forward to your feedback if you have any issues synchronizing just let the coaster run for a bit and they will sync up and we can see oh i can see right now that they're not in sync so we'll try and get this working in a second quick look at the workshop everybody pegasus and bellerophon i don't know if i'm saying that right Bell it says bellerophon but i i would say bellerophon bellerophon I don't know. Anyways, here, come rate it, favorite it, subscribe to it. Already four ratings. I think it hit the front page of Steam at one point. Uh, really great stuff. Ricker. All right, so if you guys saw in the setup, I had to edit it twice. I had to do a lot of funky editing for this one. I was a little confused on what was going on. Let me adjust my volume real quick. It is super loud. All right, so uh, I didn't realize that this was two coasters until... I mean, I've seen him working on this, and he showed me, and I should have known going into it, but I, I guess I forgot. But I set up one of the coasters, and then I realized that something went terribly wrong. So there is a boarding station here for an inverted coaster, and there is a boarding station here for a stand-up or a floorless coaster. And um, so the, the, the queues, this queue is supposed to wrap around here somewhere, and then... The other, and then the exit wraps around to here. This one was a little bit hard to set up. I don't know. You might want to rethink that one, Fricker, because, yeah, it just wouldn't wedge in properly. And I have a little bit of weird track collision going on there. Uh, maybe you guys will be able to figure it out a little bit better than me. And then because I set this up, I, I, I guess I ran the queue around this way. I, I wasn't sure where I was supposed to be going with it. Then I tied it up into here and the exit for both of them or I guess I don't know what's going on it's pretty crazy uh, but I'm sure you guys will figure it out and uh, basically main pathway going up here lets people walk up here to go in they can exit out this way and both the rides I guess they'll be exiting out this way so there's gonna be oncoming traffic and exiting traffic all around this for these two rides but you also have the option to run them in this way I could have ran some more paths around there so, uh, it's a little bit of a puzzle. Oh, crap. There's an exit going up this way. Hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to rethink how I would do this properly. It's a bit of a puzzle. Like, I, I kind of want to just say you run regular paths around grid mode all the way around. Then the exit comes up to here. But then the problem is the entrance would be like a two-second queue. So, maybe the queue runs all the way out to here. And then they're coming up here. But there's a double stairway, so I'm trying to figure out what's going on with that. And then you could have just exits going both ways. I don't. I don't really know. Um, anyways, there's a lot of options there, but it's a little bit finicky. So I let you guys figure that one out for yourself. That's a long talk about the queue. <laughs> Let's check out the ride. So we can see it's actually working here a little bit. There's a, a floorless coaster in sync with no collision over top of an inverted coaster. So the Pegasus, uh, I guess Bellerophon is riding the Pegasus. That's the idea. It does look like it's following behind a little bit. So hopefully we get it to run properly. These ones look like they're working. So there we go. So by the time we get to ride it, it should be good. So we got this uh, Greek mythology 
for the uh, decorations, and it looks very interesting. We've seen a Mount Olympus done in the past by, I think, Xephor? I think Xephor, maybe even Tetsuo. But nothing like this. We've never seen no collision used like this, guys. So he's basically hanging on for dear life here off the tail of the Pegasus, which is really neat. So we're going to ride two different coasters, I suppose, today. Quick look at the nighttime lighting. Beautiful. And I forgot to point out a custom sign, Pegasus. And does he have a Bellerfon sign somewhere? Maybe I'm missing it? I don't see it. Hmm. Nonetheless, it looks absolutely beautiful. Let's delay no further and give this a ride. Uh, we're going to be riding multiple different perspectives today. We have different coasters to ride. So we'll take a look at the ride stats. So first up is the Rival 1. Would have been nice if you named these, I guess. So this one would be the Pegasus. We got a 5.87 Excitement, a 4.11 Fear, and a 1.49 Nausea. It's 90 seconds in length and 1,000 meters in... or Sorry, 90 seconds in duration and 1,000 meters in length. And then the other one is 6.17 excitement, 4.43 fear, and a 1.09. That would be the Bellerfon coaster. 100 seconds in duration and uh, 988 meters in length. So one is 10 seconds longer. Oh, wait, it changed. It literally just updated with the change. All right, well, hopefully they're properly in sync now, now that they've been running for a while like that. So we're gonna we're gonna start with I guess the top coaster, which would be the Bellerfon. So we're taking off. Looks like that one's slowly taking off. And we're gonna sync up here. This is really neat. We even have a river rapids down there just for scenery. Look at those tracks. Pegasus is pulling on. We're holding on for dear life. That is so amazing. We do the inversion together, one on the inside, one on the outside. That Oh, look at this twist. What is happening? Oh, beautiful work, Fricker. There's a little bit of conflict in the music here. Maybe I would have picked the same song for both of them. Whoa, that is crazy. Okay, we're going to just jump right over to the other one now. All right, here we go. So we're now on the inverted coaster. The other coaster should be pulling up above us any second now. I'll just trust it's up there. That is so gnarly. What a great idea, Fricker. Also noticing custom supports. Really good job. Wow. 
That is incredible. Okay, we're gonna try the cinematic, and we'll do um, we'll do the Balfaron. Incredible. What a beautiful creation. Best cinematic run ever. Two coasters. Love how he's just clinging to the back of the uh, Pegasus like that. Whoa, sorry guys, I hit the speed up button for some reason. I had a no notification pop up. Okay, we're gonna give this a go at nighttime now. Lovely. Look at that. Impeccable work, Mr. Fricker. Uh, absolutely amazing. The best use of no collision in terms of track design we have ever seen love to see what other people can come up with after seeing this by far the best track design no collision to date and i'm i'm really excited to see some more stuff like this coming out in the future so really well done there fricker absolutely loved it and sorry about the entrance and exit i couldn't quite figure it out sure if i played around with it a little bit longer i would probably get it other than that absolutely amazing so there you have it everybody that was pegasus and bellerfon dual single track 
track coaster. Never been done before. Absolutely unique. And that's going to do it for this episode of Coaster Spotlight. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more daily Planet Coaster videos. If you guys want to support the show, you could do so by becoming a patron or by leaving a donation or tip using the links down in the description below. All right, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye now.